living. Utilizing today's technology with the best of the past to bring you innovative ideas and up-to-date information for creative lifestyles in today's active world. With your host, Cheryl Borden. Claire, thank you so much for being here. We were talking about how we've all given the dolls, the little dolls, to our daughters or granddaughters. And sometimes I think our ulterior motive is to hopefully inspire them to learn to sew because we want them to. Exactly. And you've done just that. Right. You can take existing clothing and embellish it or make from scratch using simple scraps of fabrics like mm -hmm. this and join two together to make your own skirt. This, were, this one was an outfit that they had for a pair of shorts and took the shorts off, took the belt oh. off, added beads on. Wow, now edge. that looks like the hard part. <laughs> <laughs> and actually, this only took about 15 minutes, complete sewing time. Uh -huh. We did the oh. elastic with the sequins and ribbon foot. Uh -huh. This turns oh. her evening gown Jeez. into an afternoon Did affair. Mini skirt. And you can see this bead was sewn right on the very edge uh -huh. of the fabric with no stabilizing at all. Wow. And the elastic sewn on with our sequins I would have sworn it came just like that. It looks like right. it. Right. No. Okay. And you said your daughter actually made this. Yes, she did. Wow. She made it when she was nine years old. And um, she and a girlfriend, they just kept sewing rows and rows and rows Oops. of trims, which are done without having to hold the trim at all. And so you're going to show really us nice in a minute how to do that. And, uh -huh. and then I sewed up the side seam. Uh -huh. and, and I took it from her. <laughs> <laughs> and you've kept it ever since, you said. <laughs> now she's sewing. And here's a, another this one. This is another application where we just take a, a, some ribbon, sew and, some beads on to the and ribbon. And this time you actually made the skirt. Right. So we make the and, whole mm -hmm. complete skirt. Oh, she's so pretty. And then here we, is another uh, where I took the, the hat off, and I added right, uh, some sequins right onto the hat, oh. the existing hat. Uh -huh. And then added this lace to the shirt that they supplied with the doll and then added the beads onto it, making a, a, a little dress. Gosh, instead you of could have twice as many clothes to play with. Right. That's what I loved about them anyway, exactly. was making the clothes. It was so much fun. Clothes and you were and talking them. about the special feet. Uh, there's, there's actually two. Uh, one's called, uh, let's see, sequins and ribbon and pearls and piping. Right. And they can kind of be used interchangeably, is that right? Yeah, you can use them together or separately. A and the good thing is they go on every machine. Exactly. That's great. They adjust to every machine with adapters, and they also adjust, like this sequins and ribbon foot has a guide that you turn it, and it changes the position of the trim underneath the needle. So it doesn't matter what sewing machine it is. Oh. And we just slide trims right into that slot. Now, you may find that you have a wide variety of sizes of trims, and that's what these are for. Oh, these are and these all come in the, pa in the same This is a, an additional item, kind of like buying mm -hmm. earrings for that perfect outfit. And this uh -huh. is the outfit. These are the earrings. I see. Okay. So everybody needs them both if you want to do a wide variety of trims. Uh -huh. So, Claire, are you going to show us how to do this now? Absolutely. Okay. This is the sequins and ribbon foot, and I have our low shank adapter on the machine, which turns this machine into a universal snap-on foot machine. That's why these work on every machine. Exactly. So mm -hmm. normally if, if a person has to screw their foot on, it gets hard, especially as, uh, as we age. Uh -huh. Now you can just screw that adapter on once, and you can just take it off and put it back on as many wow. times as you want. Uh -huh. And it will not break. Now Last we're gonna, a lifetime, you said. <laughs> exactly. Mm -hmm. And they're, they're re we give you replacements should you do anything to it. We mm -hmm. had uh, people drive over them with their car. <laughs> I'm not sure how that happened. <laughs> Now this is showing putting the two pieces of fabric right. or dress or whatever you're Here making. Here we have a completed, almost completed skirt. We just need to sew the Velcro onto it, and oh. it's it's a little skirt. Uh huh. To get this, you just take a piece of fabric, and I just cut a random mm -hmm. shape, Design. and mm -hmm. and then use the basting glue to glue these two pieces to each other. Oh, and I see. So that helps to hold it while it's under the machine. Exactly. Uh -huh. So no pinning. Yeah, means, that's nice. Means you aren't going to break your sewing machine needle on the pin. And you just very, very, ever so lightly just brush your finger over mm -hmm. it and then wait for it to dry. Dry. Mm -hmm. And it's water, it washes away. So you, okay. if you get any on you or the carpet or the child, <laughs> it'll, it'll come right off. And I'm going to take and show you how we can slide ribbon right into this tube and it comes out the back side. Oh. So if you have a, a Viking or a brother or a Janome, it, all of this zigzag stitch don't line up the same. So this nut on this foot turns and moves the ribbon oh, over to uh -huh. the sewing machine needle. 
and I have set on it a decorative stitch. However, you could use a double needle and sew both sides down at the same time. Oh, you could. Uh -huh. So this is a decorative stitch for those who have decorative stitches. And, um, and some of us have lots of those and have never used them. Right. But this might be fun to try. So you can adjust that to actually turn the ribbon, which is impossible to do without this foot. We move it the other way, and now we can turn it oh, that direction. Oh, it's doing it by itself. I thought you were... Okay. Right, no guiding the trim. Mm -hmm. Always the foot doing the guiding that allows our hands to be relaxed and, and takes the pressure away from us. If you hold the trim while holding the fabric, it gathers. Oh, yeah. So we want to always let the ribbon be free. So it's just a free motion sewing type it, it of technique. It seems like it, really, but the feed dogs it? are in fact engaged and feeding uh -huh. the fabric through. So we're oh, not nice. able to mess it up. <laughs> and now I'm going to show how you can sew on beaded ribbon uh, with mm -hmm. the pearls and piping that really, foot. That design really did look, looks really good on that. Yeah, sorry. There we go. And you might want to stabilize the fabric a little bit. When we bend ribbon, it causes a little pressure on the fabric. Mm -hmm. So this is the sequins and ribbon foot. And now we're going to switch to the pearls and piping foot. I actually... And you're leaving the same adapter on. Right. I actually just put beads on the ribbon oh. beforehand. Uh -huh. And then this foot will ride right over those beads, allowing wow. me to also bend the ribbon while actually sewing the beads and, on the And so you would, would you recommend doing that first, adding the, the, the beads to In the ribbon? In this case, yes. Okay. It's much easier to sew the beads onto the ribbon and then Put it sew onto the, the ribbon fabric. down oh. rather than try to steer over the ribbon and then sew the beads oh, on. Oh, I see. Okay. That's a good point. And the beaded ribbon is, is like $11 a yard and now you can make it yourself for about 22 cents. Wow. <laughs> That's an incentive if I ever heard one. Right, and we're going to use, once again, uh, this is just a standard zigzag stitch on uh -huh. the sewing machine. And in the instructions, I list what stitch length and stitch width, Good. needle to use, needle uh, thread, bobbin thread, stitch width, stitch length, so there's no guessing. And once again, one finger guiding, never, never holding both hands. What I notice is that you're not all humped over the machine where we get our back aches. Exactly. It's so a very light touch. Uh-huh. And then you just keep building this, and after Adding you're done, you could sew elastic onto that, or you can gather up mm -hmm. the waistband. If you're if you're leery of sewing with elastic or Velcro, you can actually sew mm -hmm. little trim on the edge. And the thing you were talking about, like they can accomplish something. It's like cooking. It's grati exactly. instant gratification. Once you do something from scratch you believe that you can do anything from scratch mm -hmm. and it makes the whole world open up to you. And, well, it, and this is amazing and I lo love the cost savings and that's great. Right. Well, thank yeah. you so much for showing us how easy this is to it's do. My pleasure.